Hi guys, welcome to our Intergym Season Championship. The course for today has a couple different time limits. So every single age group runs the exact same course, but the 14 plus time limit is two minutes, the 10 to 13 is 2.30, and the six to nine is three minutes. There are 16 obstacles in the course. Every one of them is worth one point. We'll get right into obstacle number one here. This is your starting pad. For all the obstacles, the posts are in play to use hands and feet as needed to start the obstacle or end the obstacle. Um, obstacle one here is the double tilt ladders. There's also this ring here if uh, you're a shorter competitor and you need that to help get started. And then you're using as much or as little as you want to land on the raised blue pad right here. And all the landings are on or completely passed. If you fall backwards or to the sides without hearing a clear call, then that will count as a fall. Coach Bobby's going to show us obstacle number one. And clear. So, a couple of the obstacles in the course are a little low to the ground, like obstacle one here. So, again, incidental contact is allowed, but if you touch down and push into the pads, that will be a fall. Obstacle number two is the rope slider. So the same pad you landed on is now your starting pad. It'll always be reset, just trapped right here. You can take it out. And then you're sliding onto the raised blue pad at the end. And you can use hands and feet to get through it. Ready, Bobby? Yep. Obstacle number three is the pillar dash. So your red pad here is a start. You're welcome to have a bigger run up if you want. And then you've got all these pillars that you can use hands and feet on to land on the raised blue pad here. Ready? Obstacle number four is the quintuple steps. So you've got these six steps that you can use hands and feet on however you need to to get through to the raised blue pad there. Obstacle number five is the balance pipes. You can only stand on the raised metal part, so don't stand on these supports. Um, partway through, there's this pillar, so again, that's in play if you want to touch it uh, with any part of your body. And then, this pad here that was originally the starting platform for the course is now your landing pad for this obstacle. And clear. All right, our next obstacle then is the ring toss. So again, you can use hands and feet on this post however you need to to get into the ring toss. And then you're going as far as you need to get onto the post here. Now this is a series of obstacles where the starting and landing for each one is a post. And the way it works is, if you're coming through the ring toss and you are able to touch this post with any part of your body before you touch the ground, it'll count as a clear. But if you're flying through the air, you touch here, you fall down, then you clear this obstacle, but it will be a fall on the next obstacle. Bobby gets the end here, he makes sure not to come down to the ground. And then next up is the chimes. You're allowed to use hands and feet on the bases, the upper part, as much as you need to get through that next post. And then again, he's making sure not to drop down, because if he did drop down here, it'd be a fall on the monkey pegs. So for the monkey pegs, again, you're using hands on those pegs. They are all capable of falling out, so be aware of that as you're going through that. If you pull too hard to the side, you can pull a peg out, just like a normal pegboard. And then your landing is on past this red pad here. And again, you can use, yep, so as soon as you're touching this post, you can 
drop down. Alright. So just to clarify, I think this part was a little unclear. So this you you can't trap down to. So you can use this post, but then this is your landing pad on your path. Alright, next up is the devil's pipes. So everyone has this pillar if they need to to help climb up. And then this one, hands only. You can use this cross beam at the start, you can use this cross beam at the end, and also this bar here to land on the raised blue pad over here. Next up is the flying squirrels. So you've got this black platform here for your start. If you're shorter, you're welcome to use the circle pad here. And then you're using as many or as few of the squirrels as you want with hands only to get to your landing pad here. Next up is the trapeze. The same rules apply where you're stepping up on the black pad, there's a circle pad here if you need it for the height. And then you're using as many or as few of the trapeze as you want to land on that raised blue pad at the end. All right, next up is the Big Dipper. So for this one, you're allowed to climb up anything you need to. Right now, we've got the bar at the shop getting ready for the competition. Um, so Bobby will just show the climb up and then he'll reach up and touch the part of the bar there where normally there'd be a bar waiting for you. So right up here there'd be the slider bar that you would unhook and then you'd slide down and Bobby can step down here. So what he's trapping onto, this would be the part where you can't fall onto but as soon as you clear past that big airbag, this clears the course or this clears this obstacle. From here we'll keep on moving. So the little red platform here is the start, and then this pillar, again, just like the rest of the course, it's in play to use hands and feet on, and then this big blue pad here is your landing. One other thing to point out, the wall is also in play, so if you're able to touch that and you don't fall down on the ground before, you're still good. and then the black pad is your start and jumping all the way out onto the big blue pad is your finish hands and feet on the sides are allowed just don't grab onto those blue 2 by 4s up top next up is the rolling log so a small platform at the start there is your start and then the end is either of these two large blue pads and again hands and feet on any part to get to your landing. And then our last obstacle is the warped wall. So the 6 to 9 year olds do the 10 foot, the 10 to 13s do the 12 foot, and then the 14 plus do the 14 and a half wall. You have as many tries as you want within your time limit. Your time stops when you get all the way up and over your wall and you're not allowed to use shorter sidewalls. So for instance, for the six and nines, they can't use this for this. And for the 14 plus, they can't use any part of this to help get to the top. Right when diving is all the way on top, that's when his time stops. So again, for the 14 plus, it's a two minute time limit. For the 10 to 13s, it's 2.30. And then for the six to nine, it's a three minute time limit. There are 16 obstacles, one point for each obstacle. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>